All right, I had an artist make a comment a couple of days ago that uh, he thought the uh, scaling was off on the horse. I didn't want to see it that way. I thought it looked fine. But the more I look at it, the more I realize it is off. And it's because these rear legs should be much more muscular and much more bulkier, even for a Mustang, than what they are. And uh, so I came, I went to a, uh, my skull of a horse that I have and um, measured the head measurement to it. And I am about a half inch off on my measurement for this horse. This horse should be a whole, all the proportions should be about one half inch bigger. So that means I'm gonna to have to redo the horse. I won't have to redo him. I'll just have to figure out a way of cutting the saddle off of the horse here and then mounting it on the new horse. Yeah, it's disappointing. And it adds time to my sculpting on this piece, but uh, I'd rather be right than wrong. Once you get it in bronze, it's too late to change it. I've been looking at it and I'm just trying to fool myself into thinking, okay, it looks just fine. It, it isn't just fine. And uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and redo that horse. And I've got to rescale up. This is the... Uh, scale of the horse I was using and it's just going to be a matter of adding about a half inch to uh, this uh, drawing and on top of all that this head measurement is off because for some reason the artist decided to turn the head of the horse just a slight bit which foreshortens the horse's head and uh, you can't use that horse head as a measurement I mean, it is ever so slight, the angle of that horse head, but it does throw off the uh, measurements. So, anyway, it's 8.30 in the morning, and uh, I've come to that conclusion. So, as much as I like this as it is, I'm going to have to change it. Well, I went up and rescaled the horse to match what it should be. And you can see this is a new scaling. You can see how much smaller my uh, horse was compared to, I mean, just a half inch. Uh, well, it's still a half inch, but it's gonna make a big difference in uh, the uh, in the uh, sculpture in the, in the long run. So I'll start this probably Monday. And uh, what I'll do is I'll set this aside uh, and start working on the horse alone. And then I'll put the cowboy back on the horse. It just, it's just w not worth going through the process of casting it in bronze and, ha and realizing after you cast it that it's off. So sometimes you just have to bite the bullet. By the way, I just wanted to make a point here. This uh, horse anatomy that I've gone through here is from a different source. It's uh, If you do a search on uh, Google for horse anatomy for artists, you'll come up with uh, a lot of good material, and uh, some of it's not so good. And this is one of them. Now, this is a drawing from a book that came out. It's the same book that came out with the uh, initial drawing that I took my measurements from for the horse. And uh, I realized that the uh, head was askew or turned towards the uh, viewer. I don't know why the artist did that, but anyway, 
Um, but they, they did the same thing with this drawing here. They got the uh, head, head of the uh, horse drawn out here like this from the side view. But when you looked at the front view, the way they had it was much longer than the actual skull uh, in their drawing in the, on the uh, right. And so I had to rescale this drawing to match the scale of that horse, that skull length and re reevaluate and redo the skull length, which also redid the length of the head and the width of the head. You got to be real careful when you're getting stuff from books and stuff like that. A lot of times they don't care whether you get a good product. They just want to pump out stuff so that you can, uh, um, so they can make money off the book. Anyway, so it took me time this morning to get that all scaled out on my computer. All right, I'm going to pick this up Monday, and uh, I'll see you then. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.